the vlog guys my name is Nezi if you are new here please think about subscribing to my channel so today is Tuesday it's October 17th it is 6 11 p.m. I just got home from work I went to BJ's got a couple of things story of my life just got back and um, now Diesel was like are you going bike riding I'm like hmm I told him no at first but then I thought about it it's such a beautiful day it's a cool breezy day a beautiful day to go bike riding so why not so I'm gonna change in a few minutes after I speak with you guys yesterday was a sad day for me um, unfortunately I lost one of my uncles my father's brother it's very sad because we didn't get to see him before he passed it's a long story but um he was younger than my dad we're really sad about it so please keep us in your prayers rest in peace to my uncle and yeah so now my father uh, on my father's side, it was 13 of them, and I think now there's five left, which is my dad, two uncles, and two aunts. But, yeah, so, um, he's in a better place. I know people don't like saying that, but, you know, it is what it is, and I know one day we will all see each other once again. So, yesterday I had my doctor's appointment. All went well. It seems like all went well, so yeah, I went for my annual and my mammogram, and then um, tomorrow I go for follow-up. I have to get blood work done, and yeah, so I'll be working from home tomorrow, and then I go into the office Thursday and Friday, but yeah, guys, let me get myself together, and you know, it gets dark early, and I don't like writing in the dark, and I don't want to come home and eat late. I have meatballs I made yesterday. Oh, they came out so good, so I have food in the fridge leftovers that I so luckily I don't have to cook but I, I do want to make some guacamole so when I come back I'll show you guys the way I make my guacamole and Diesel is going to show you a new pair of kicks that he just got hi guys we're back from riding our bikes we got back about half an hour ago and I am reheating the meatballs I made yesterday and we're gonna have them with this um, multi-green bread it's like sliced I wanted the um, Tuscan bread, but they didn't have it. So I put a slice of Swiss cheese, I toasted it, and now I'm gonna put the meatballs on here. I can't make the I can't make the guacamole because I forgot the lime. And you can't have guacamole without lime. So these meatballs smell so good. Mm. Baby, you're not gonna say hi to your peeps. Oh, you I know you're still alive. I'm not alive. Hello. I'm not lying. Well, you know what I mean. I vlog. Excuse me. Vlog. I didn't know you were vlogging still. <laughs> what up, peeps? Look, so I made a mini. And that's spinach. I like to put spinach in my meatballs. Spinach in the meatballs. Mm -hmm. But I, was, I, was, I really wanted the um, guacamole. But like I said, you can't have it with without um, lime. So... Babe, this is messy. Yeah, it looks like... I don't know how you're going to eat this. Good God. I don't know how I like messy sandwiches, but man, that takes the cake. You want more sauce on it? No, I think I got enough. I think that's enough. All right, here you go. Toodles. Dang, right, babe. What are you going to do? <laughs> what are you going to do? I'm going to need a lot of napkins. Is this hot? I'm going to have to eat, eat, eat the bread separate, like separate. Like. Yeah. So, anyway. Excuse anyway, me. Anyway. We will show you Diesel sneakers, new kicks in a few yeah. after we finish eating because I'm hungry. I don't like to eat this. I'm like looking at, I don't even have my watch on. It's 7.30 and um, they ain't give me nothing on TV. Nothing. Nada. Oh, they gave me Dancing with the Stars. I didn't watch that. Hi guys, it's 12.10. It's Wednesday. Happy hump day. I am working from home today as um, I said yesterday I had a doctor's appointment, a follow-up doctor's appointment this morning at 8.45. So I went to that. My mom went with me and then um, I had to take her to her dentist appointment and then from there I took her to the senior center. And yeah, now I'm home. Why? I'm not even joking about this. I'm not. As I mentioned yesterday, what is that noise? Oh, I'm boiling ribs. I'll tell you about that in a second. Back home, I've been home for a while, and um, Diesel said to me earlier today that he wanted ribs, that he was going to go buy some ribs. But then I thought about it. I said, you know what? We have some ribs in the freezer. Because I had bought the two-pack a while back, 
the two pack a while back that rhymes and i froze i cleaned and i froze one of the um i cleaned and i froze one of them one of the rack of ribs and so i said you know what babe don't buy nothing i have ribs i'm gonna make them for you so he's like oh cool so i'm boiling them now since they were frozen and then i will season them and put them in the oven and they're making all this noise let me just take this top off i'm gonna make some guacamole i have Hopefully these avocados are still good. I bought them Sunday and they're really ripe now. So I got four avocados. I just diced a piece of a red onion, some cilantro. I have garlic. And I went to my sister's house because she has a lot of lime. And I got two limes. And yeah, so I'm going to slice one open and see. Hopefully this is, um, these are good. I hope so. I hope they're like really nice and the nice green color. So let's see. Yeah, they're good. So far, so far, so good. So I'm going to take these out. I love aguacate. Oh my God. I love, love. Oh, I have another doctor's appointment at um, 345. It's just to get blood withdrawn. And these is going to go with me to that. That's going to be one, two, three. And yeah, that's it. Then I come home tomorrow, go to work. I have to work till five tomorrow because I take minutes. I hate doing that. But um, yeah, I have to take minutes at a meeting. So um, Nancy came over yesterday, surprised me. God, I hope this avocado is not this. I'm, I'm opening the third one. I hope it's not spoiled or rotten. Oh, good, it's not. This one's good, too. I love guacamole. I love Mexican food. Oh, my God. When we went to Mexico for Diesel's birthday, the food wasn't that great, but I'll tell you one thing. Their guacamole was on the money. You can't go wrong with, with guacamole. You really can't. Diesel went out to eat with Eric. They went for breakfast. They went to the gym this morning, and then they went for breakfast. Diesel asked if I wanted anything for breakfast, but nope. I told him no because, you know, we have stuff here. And, yeah. So, we're already, we are already talking about Thanksgiving. Like, Diesel was talking about that the other day. Like, where we're going to have it here. Where my sisters. And I think we should just have it here because... Oh, my God. This avocado. I have to. Mmm. I, I told him let's have it here because... Even though my sister's house is bigger, I think my kitchen is bigger than hers. So, yeah. And I was like, y'all can make the turkey because... I made turkey one time it came, came out good, but I'll make, I'll, I'll make everything else. I'll make the rice, I'll make the panil if they want panil. But as far as turkey... They can do that. So when the phone rang early, I'm, t I'm telling you, I can't make this, I can't make this up. It was my cousin. So, cause I had called her earlier when I was driving back home, I called her twice, she didn't pick up. And um, when I start to film, she, I feel like she senses I'm filming and she'll call me. Anyway, I have the avocados here. I'm gonna smash them up with the fork. And then I'm going to squeeze some lime in there. I bought those um, Tostito lime chips. Oh my God, they're so good. To eat with this. It's funny because Diesel doesn't care too much for avocado, but he loves guacamole. I love avocado. I remember my grandma, I God bless her soul. She had, I think it was four or six avocado trees. Mm, I love avocado. I hope this lime has juice in it because it feels, yeah, it feels kind of dry. Oh my God, lime. This lime smells so good too. So I'm just squeezing the lime. I should show you guys, but it's just hard with this, this um, little tripod thing I have. This lime, is no, there's no juice coming out this lime. Not that much. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot I had a lime squeezer mechanism thing here. This should help better. Yes, it does. Mmm. 
Okay. So I'll take, now I'll take some, um, oh, good, good, good. This really works. I'm going to take my chopped onions, red onion and cilantro, and I'm going to stick it in here. It already smells good. Plus, I'm going to take a little bit of garlic and stick it in there as well. Oh my God. And I'm hungry too. I had a banana this morning. That's all I had. A banana and some, um, my mom likes these breadsticks I get for her from TJ Maxx. I'm just going to put a little garlic, not too much. I don't know, garlic for me. When I eat garlic, it repeats on me. I get like, not heartburn, but it just keeps coming up. Oh, that's we It's weird. I don't like using salt, but I might have to put a little bit of pink Himalaya salt in here and maybe a little black pepper. And I think we're done. I like this salt. I use this salt, the pink Himalaya salt. And a little black pepper. Whoa. Oh. And my best friend who missed his calling, my best friend Anthony, he, he, he can cook. That boy, he's Italian, he can cook. He makes his own homemade pasta, his own sauce. I remember one time I was cooking for him and I opened up a jar of prego. He was like, what's that? I said, spaghetti sauce. He's like, oh no. And then he came one week after that to my house when I was living in Queens at the time. And um, he showed me how to make homemade sauce. Do I make it now? No. I still use, um, I actually use uh, another spaghetti sauce. But yeah, I don't know. Mm -mm. But I'm telling you, it was, it was so good. It was so, so good. But anyway, he gave me a recipe for his guacamole. Oh my and he adds a little bit of sour cream in it. Delicious, delicious. I don't have sour cream and I'm not gonna add that, but yeah, if you add like a little bit of it, depending how much avocado and stuff you have, um, you know, avocado and your ingredients, this looks really good, guys. Mm. The thing is gonna be the, the taste. I have one more lime. I might squeeze the other lime depending on how this tastes. And have such a mess here. These are my favorite chips for dipping into guacamole. The Tostito, the lime, the lime flavor ones. Now let me show you how this looks so far. That's my guacamole. Oh, I smell so good. Next time. Mm. It needs something. Mm. It's good though. It's good. Don't get me wrong. It's good. It just needs something and I don't know what. Something I don't want to add but a little bit more salt. And I'm going to squeeze this other lime in there. So I'm gonna add a little bit more salt. Should I add more cilantro? Mm. Um, yeah, let me add a little more cilantro and lime. Okay, I added the other lime, a pinch of salt and more cilantro. I'm just stirring that up, incorporating all those ingredients. Oh, it looks so good. Oh. Oh, you know what else? You know, I forgot. I do add a little crushed red pepper, just a tiny bit, but I'm not gonna add it because Diesel doesn't like spicy stuff, but you can add a little bit of crushed pepper if you like. So let's taste this now. It's good. 
I wish I could give you guys some. It's so good. Mmm. Oh man, it's good. Again, this is so easy to make. Just avocado. If you want a bowl like this, I use four of the half avocados, four ripe avocados, some cilantro, some red onion, salt, pepper, garlic, and lime. Mix that up. You can add red, red crushed pepper if you like. Not too much. You don't want to overpower it. Um, and if you want a, a little bit, like a spoonful of, a teaspoon of sour cream, trust me, you won't even taste the sour cream. It just gives it like a, a good, uh, hmm. it just makes it more creamier. It, it won't overpower the guacamole, the avocados. It's really good. But anyway, I'm going to enjoy some of this, call my crazy cousin back, and I'll catch you guys later. Hey, peeps. It's, as you know, sneaker review time. And we got here, now this right here uh, explains like my whole my whole color scheme, the way I'm dressed. I got on, you know, red and blue and I got brown mixing it. So we have here, and this is the ETA Sports X NFL X, it's a long, long one, Air Max 90, play like Madden. Now, this is like, to, like a special edition sneaker, and I'm going to explain why, why I'm a little disappointed like the whole thing itself. In fact, hold that door. So let us open and see. Now this is this is a beautiful shoe. Beautiful shoe. Beautiful shoe. Let me get them both out here. So I first heard about this shoe online, and uh, one of the guys I watch, uh, one of the sneaker blog guys I watch, uh, did a reviews as well. What I like about this shoe is the start of like this material here, this pigskin material, like the football. That's why uh, they call it ECA Sports, like like John Madden with the with the NFL video games. This sneaker is dedicated to that. I love the brown color, and you see you got the red in, in line, sock in line. Even the laces, I was thinking about changing the laces to like maybe like a blue or red, but then again, I thought about the fact with this white stripe coming down with the ETA on the tongue. I was like, you know, so I'm, I'm gonna leave them in there. And the fact they meant for it to be because look at the the tips, the tips are the colors are the other colorway of it, red and blue. So, and what's also I like about it, if you can see if you can see in here, that it got the X's and O's of like the, like a playbook script. With the NFL logo on it. You can see that here. Yeah. Out of all the Air Max shoes, I really liked like the Air Max 95. But but this here, like I said, when I saw this, this was special. You know, you got the Air Max logo on it. This is what it says here. Play. Play like Madden. So it's like I love detail, detail sneakers. That's one thing I I, I always I go for a sneaker, I always go for like the hype type or something special, you know, because I like to be different from everybody else. And of course, I got it from actually ordered from uh, Flight Club. Now, what I was saying about me being disappointed, you figure this is a, a special edition sneaker, right? So, what will come with a special edition sneaker? Post it, you think it will come with a customized box instead of this plain old Nike original box. Retail is not not bad, but I pay resale of course. Most of my ninety percent of my sneakers are resale because what my size, you know, my size fifteen. So fifteens are like rare, you know, especially like the hype, the hype sneakers there is. Now you would think that, like, see this for here. This is this is a watch, NFL watch. Now if it came like the box with the shoe box came like this, I'd I feel much better. With the sneaker, I mean, I'm happy with the sneaker, but I think like they could have gave me something or gave us something more, being this is a special edition Air Max sneaker, you know, if not a like a customized box, a tag or something, something to the NFL, uh, or a shape of a football, whatever the case may be, you know, what do you tell me? You know, leave your comments down below. Tell me what you think, man. You know, for us uh, sneaker sneaker collectors, you know, what do you think, babe?
I mean, I think it should have came in a special edition box, not the regular orange right. and white box. Right. But this is a special look. This is a yeah, special edition. Yeah, those are nice. I like show. them. Mm -hmm. The bottom, red light, red light, and blue. I guess they try to make it more like a football, like almost like a turf, like a turfy with the tips on the bottom here and stuff like that. Man, this is. And anything, I love Air Max. I'm an Air Max freak. Next to Jordan sneakers, Air Max is my is my thing. You know, anything with a bubble in it because it's so comfortable, like walking on, actually walking on air. You know, ain't got much of a back though, but you know, still can smack it. Hey guys, happy Friday! It is Friday. It is 8:49. I'm on my way to work. I just wanted to say hello. I didn't vlog yesterday. Yesterday when I got home from work, I got home late yesterday because I had to take minutes. So I was at the office or at the hospital um, later than usual. But um, I still made it a point to come home when I got home, change my clothes and go bike riding. So I did um, over five miles with Diesel and I felt good. So yes, this morning, Diesel, he just called me. I feel so bad. He went to the eye doctor and he was like, I forgot they were gonna dilate my eyes. And he don't know if he can drive, so I told him any emergency, let me know. The eye doctor's not too far from where I work at, but I mean, yeah. So I, I don't know. I, I've driven before after my eyes got dilated, but not right away. I just kind of wait a little bit, and then um, I wear my shades. Well, these are transitions, but I also put the little black screen things they give you to put um, under your um, under your glasses. So hopefully that'll work. That'll help him out. I made myself some breakfast. I made some egg whites with wheat toast. I have a Kanish for lunch. I don't want to buy anything at work. Um, I made coffee today. I made um, decaf coffee. And what else did I bring with me? I think that was it. Um, maybe a snack. Maybe the sugar-free apple pie. There was one left. I said, let me take it before it expires. I have a bad habit of doing that. But yeah, I'm... Heading in now, I know it's late, but um, I signed in early. I worked a little bit here from home, and now I'm just going to sign off and go to work. But I will catch you guys later. Hope you guys are having a great day. It's beautiful outside. It's about, well, this morning when I woke up, it was 50, like 54 degrees. So I have a long cardigan I'm going to put over this. And, yeah, I'm dressed casual today, but, yeah, I'm so glad it's Friday. What we do for a Klondike bar. <laughs> <laughs> a crunch one, a sugar free one, the last one because this one over here been eating all my ice cream. He ate my kind bars. No, you ate the last one. I said the last one. Yeah, but I bought those for that me. Means I love these. <laughs> and don't mind the guacamole stain right here. I just had guacamole with chips. I and I'm you, having this. I hope you have that for me, Sean. Shut up, babe. You're not showing. He's, he said, You're going to vlog with no pants on? I have. Look, I have the camera from the waist up. I'm home. I'm chilling. Anyway, we're watching Living Single, our favorite show. And we, I never get tired of the show. So, happy Friday, guys. It is 7.51. It feels like it's 10 o'clock at night. And we're just chilling at home. I got home and I cleaned house so that I don't, I don't have to do tomorrow. While this one over here... Hello. <laughs> Talking about what's for dinner. I called him and he was already eating. Talking about what's for dinner. That was a snack. She didn't that feed was him. not a snack. She didn't feed me. I did feed him. I don't cook on Fridays. And there was leftovers. Oh wow, two meatballs. No, there's more. There was only two. Ahead. Tomorrow, the plan is to go walking in the morning early. Then. <sighs> Then my mom has a 10 o'clock appointment to get her hair cut. And why is my camera full of chocolate? <laughs> and then Diesel, myself, and my mom are getting our first shingles vaccine shot. So um, when I went for my physical, it was recommended by my doctor to get it. Diesel had the shingles a couple of years ago. Yep, I was saying, I'm living the shingle, shingle, <laughs> my mom had it last year really bad when she was still in New York. I mean, she had it for like two months. It was, I felt so bad. And then I just had it, if you watch my vlogs, you know I had it on my neck. I think it was, was it last year or this year I had it? <laughs> last year. So I, I don't know if it was last year or this year, but yeah. I had it on my neck. 
So for precautions, because the doctor said if we were to get it again, it will be worse. So we're going for our first shingle shot tomorrow. So I made appointments for all of us. And that's it. Maybe I'll, I want to go to Sprouts because I want to start getting fresh vegetables. I don't like getting vegetables in cans, although I'm not opposed to it. I just think that um, fresh vegetables is better. So I want to go to the farmer's market and I want to go to Sprouts. We have a Sprouts here. Because Trader Joe's is too far and so is Whole Foods. And Whole Foods is so expensive. So I want to go to, um, well Sprouts is too, but I think the farmer's market is probably my best option. So that's what the plan is for tomorrow. There's no Bible study tomorrow because I think Pastor Santiago is going to start doing them only once every three weeks, he said. Yeah, I think once every three weeks. So, But anyway, guys, hope you're having a great day or evening whenever you're watching this. And yeah, we're going to continue to watch Living Single. Hey, guys, good morning. It's Saturday. It's 10, 10. It's 928 and I'm on my way to get mom to get her to her haircut appointment. Diesel should be coming out now. He's setting the alarm and then from there we're going to get something to eat then pick mom back up and go get our shingle shots Ugh. and then I want to get gas I need to go to BMW because I keep getting this tire pressure notification on my car and my tires are fine it looks like they're fine so I want to go to BMW and then from there I think mom wants to go to like TJ Maxx or something so it's going to be a nice long productive day um it's beautiful out it's 81 degrees well my car says 81 but i just got out of the garage so i'm sure it's like 70 something degrees but it's so nice out hey guys we're at walgreens now i just went in it's, it smells terrible in there i came back to get diesel so i can get his reaction when he walks in the store because I don't know if something's wrong with their bathroom. It smells like somebody defecated. Ugh. Like, I don't know if something's wrong with their bathroom. But we have to go all the way in the back to get our shots. And it stinks. I don't know. Can you smell it out here? No. no. Wait till you walk in. Oh, no. If you walk that way, you will. Which way? Right? You don't smell that? I'm I smell it. That. I smell it. <laughs> right here, babe. Oof. It smells. Ready, Ma? Hello. Mommy just got her hair done. Look how pretty. You don't smell anything? Ma, do you smell anything? Those are messed up. Oh, when I walked in, I did. Oh, that's the restrooms. I smell it. Ugh. Vaccine checking right here. I don't smell nothing. Don't smell. <laughs> He's all shaved. I smell me. I smell it. Oh, and look, the restroom is right there. Yeah. <laughs> you ready for your shot? Mm -hmm. You're not gonna cry like a baby. <laughs> we just got our shots. It hurt. The shingle shot hurt. Yeah. Yes, it did. Okay. Yes, it did. My mom has bony arms, and she says it didn't hurt. Diesel. Like a little burn. No, it hurt, hurt me. It hurt. Oh, that was it thing. wasn't like, it didn't hurt. Like, oh, I'm crying like a baby, but it hurt because it I burned. I don't know, but it burned. My bones are hard. Yeah. What are you going to buy? The, um, I'm looking for my Thorough Breath fund. Diesel has a $10 coupon, so I'm going to get the Thorough Breath. Yes, it's um, a mouthwash. Oh, it's I right here. It, yeah. It's right here. But yeah, it burned. It burned. She said we'll stay in the store for 15 minutes to make sure. Just like the COVID shot. If you got in the COVID shot, you know you got to wait 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes to make sure you don't have any kind of reactions. God forbid. And then we can leave. Um, yeah, but she said drink a lot of water, stay hydrated, and rest. We're going to get probably flu-like symptoms. Same as COVID shot. Fatigue. Things of that nature. So anyway, after here... I'm gonna go home and then no we're gonna she wants to go shopping we will but I want to go home I have to go to the bathroom these will have to get something in the house I have to get gas 
So since we're always traveling and Diesel always has to go to the rest stop every 30 minutes, I think I'm gonna get him these. Look, honey, extra large. Put you that. <laughs> I get Diesel. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Does your husband always have to go to the bathroom when you travel? Does he have leakage problems? <laughs> Mm -hmm. You gotta put that back. I ain't doing that. Look, let's see. I'll stay Stretch home. Stretch briefs. <laughs> I'll stay home if I gotta go through that. Stretch briefs. Okay, it says. Okay, men's shield. Let's try it, mom, babe. No. <laughs> Hi, guys. I'm back home. It's 5 o'clock, 502 to be exact. I am exhausted. Babe, that um shot, you haven't had any headaches or anything? I don't have a headache, but I'm super sleepy. I feel lethargic. I feel lethargic. So I dropped Diesel back home after we had breakfast and we went for our shots. I dropped Diesel back home and then me and mom went back out. I, went, I had to go back to BMW because my tires had low pressure. So they fixed that. They filled up my tires. Then from there, we went to the cosmetic company store or the cosmetic store. At the outlet, my mom bought some makeup and stuff. She really doesn't wear makeup, but she has a few um events she wants to go to and she hasn't bought makeup in a while so she got that and then from there i went to aldi so this part of the vlog is going to be a grocery haul what would this vlog be without a grocery haul but first i went to walmart as well i just got a few things from well three things from walmart i got some more nathan fries this is diesel's favorite babe your favorite what? nathan fries Okay, thank you. I got um, some more Briar's sugar-free or no sugar added butter pecan ice cream. I picked up some orzo. My sister was so sweet, she got me a red bell pepper. Now from Aldi's, I picked up some vinegar, some spinach, some fresh broccoli, some peas for diesel, some string beans, some carrots, some cherry tomatoes, a cucumber, some lime, some baby potatoes, some gala apples, ow, some cheese, mozzarella and mild cheddar, medium cheddar, some peaches, well two peaches, and lastly some salmon. That is all I got from Aldi's and Walmart. I am starving. I think you ate something already because I see some aluminum foil over there. Yeah, I had something. That means he wants me to cook for him. Anyway, I'm going to make something to eat. I don't know what yet, but I'm starving. I think I'm going to make myself a um, Beyond Burger. That's what I feel like. Yeah, a Beyond Burger. My nail broke. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm hungry. I'm I made myself a Beyond Burger. Just added ketchup, pickle, and onion. Cheese is in there as well, and a Caesar salad. Good morning, guys. Happy Sunday. It is, I don't even know what time it is, but don't look at me like that. I know I look a hot mess. I am cleaning house. I just did some laundry. I'm doing towels now. I made breakfast for Diesel and I, and now I'm about to clean our master bathroom. I just took all the linens off the bed. I'm gonna wash those. I'm gonna get another set, put those on. I have to do the dishes, but my tackle today is this bathroom. It's not dirty, but you know, there's always, like I wanna do like a deep cleaning, a deep, deep cleaning. So last night I woke up about three o'clock. I felt sick to my stomach. I had a Caesar salad last night, so I think it was the Caesar salad that did it. I was in the bathroom for an hour. I felt so sick. But I feel okay this morning. My arm is super sore. My mom's arm is sore too. Diesel, he said he's fine. We didn't have any fever, thank God, from the shingle shot. Um, I felt lethargic yesterday, but I slept pretty good. It's just that I got up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom. It's so nice outside. I walked outside because my mom um, brought something home um, because my mom came over and had to drop something off to me and I went outside. It's really nice. So they're at Costco's now. They wanted me to go with them, but if I go into Costco's, oh my God, I 
start spending unnecessary money. I love Costco's. I love BJ Sam's. Is in. I have memberships to all three, but Costco's and, and BJ's is my top two. I'm not sure what I'm making for dinner. I know it's so early in the morning to talk about dinner, but I know Diesel. Diesel's going to be like, what are we having for dinner? Watch, 12 o'clock in the afternoon, he's going to be like, what are we having for dinner? I think I'm going to start making, um, prepping my meals because I watch this woman i follow this woman on youtube shorts I, she has a youtube channel but i watch all her shorts and she makes the healthiest meals and immunity shots and she juices and i went to as you saw i went to aldi's yesterday and got a whole bunch of fruits and vegetables so i want to do something with all that i'm not going to let that go to waste of course because sometimes i buy stuff and let me know if you do this as well and you know after a couple of weeks it's still in the fridge but no i'm not doing that mm -mm, we ain't got time we ain't got money for that but i'm gonna i want to try these immunity shots that she makes i think she uses carrots ginger lemon and something else i'm gonna go back to her video and see what it is and then she just blends everything out she has a juicer and she also uses a blender i don't have a juicer i want to invest in one but i want to um blend everything out and then strain it and drink it every morning happy sunday peeps football sunday that is what's no! your team <laughs> yeah hey i can say the same thing too boo -hoo, right no no pack no <laughs> hours later it is later, way later from this morning. <coughs> Alexa, what time is it? Alexa, what time is it? The time is 7.24 p.m. Okay, so yeah. I think I vlogged this morning when I was a hot mess. I cleaned house today. I cleaned house today and I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. I mean, I did a deep thorough cleaning of that bathroom i'm making it sound like that bathroom was like disgusting it wasn't i just wanted to like really really clean i mean the shower the floors take the rugs out the sinks you know i have dual sinks um the toilet yeah mop and then i did all the laundry the sheets um yeah and you guys know I have a, a, a grown baby, so I had to feed him as well. And then my mom calls me. Actually, I had tuna fish, and it was so funny because for lunch, I had tuna fish with crackers. And I had just finished eating when she calls me. She says, do you have any tuna fish? Because my nephew, the young one, likes tuna fish, so I bought her over two. I think these will drop something. Hmm. Anyway, my nephew loves tuna fish, so I bought her over two cans of tuna fish and some celery. So I stopped over at my sister's house for a little bit, for about 10 minutes, maybe 15. And then, um, yeah, I came right back home, sat in the lanai. I reclined my chair and I fell out. Well, I, I kind of fell out. <laughs> then my best friend Rosa called me and we were talking and I was falling asleep while she was talking to me. The weather was so beautiful today. The air, there was like a nice breeze coming in and I was just falling out. So then after that, I was like, you know what, let me get up, fix the big baby some dinner and i did i didn't eat dinner because i had breakfast i had lunch and my lunch was filling that tuna salad i made was really really filling so you know so that's what i had and then i had an apple i did have some sugar-free ice cream about 5 30 that's it i'm not hungry if i get hungry which i don't think i will who am i kidding anyway i'm gonna make myself a hot tea to drink and that's it i'm not gonna eat till tomorrow i have some packages from amazon i wanted to show you guys if you know, um, I've mentioned that I'm going to an event with Nancy next weekend. And so it's an all white kind of event. So she bought everything, but I wanted to chip in and I got some stuff that she said we needed. So I told her, let me, let me pick that stuff up. So I'm going to open it right now with you guys and see, I'm still waiting for one item and it's supposed to be here before next weekend. So, um, which is the, I think the dinner napkins. So let me open this one first. It's nothing. It's nothing to write a book about, but who's he talking to? He's watching the football game. And I'm, my Packers are are doing bad, so I'm not even watching the game. I'm gonna watch the evening game though. It's the I think it's the um, Eagles against the Dolphins, so I'm gonna watch that game. Okay, so. And by the way, my arm 
hurts. I was taking a shower and I was, you know, washing myself and everything, doing what I'm supposed to do, doing what I'm supposed to be doing. And when I went like this, oh my God, I screamed bloody hell. It was, it's so, so, like if I move it, it's kind of fine. But if you touch it, ah, oh, it's terrible. Anyway, so I got these flameless bring your sweet life LED candles. And so we have to decorate our own tables. And I bought these flameless flickering lights. I think there were two. Yeah, there's two in here. So this is what they look like. And I hope they came with batteries, did they? No, but I have I have a whole bunch of batteries. It comes with a remote. And it comes with a remote. So yeah, I bought this so we can put at our table. I'm excited. And my outfit is so cute. You guys will see. That's going to be a separate vlog next week. So I think I'm going to have an extra vlog for you guys. Um, but yeah, I'm dressing all in white. And then we're supposed to wear a mask. So, oh, wait a minute. This is not, what's this? Okay, so these are the um, dinner napkin rings that I bought. Wow, how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We only need two because it's just me and Nancy. Like everybody's bringing their own thing, like each um, table. So I bought these. I'm gonna rip this because it's not opening. Come on. So I bought the dinner napkin rings because I ordered dinner napkins as well, so it could look really nice. And why not put the rings on there so we can take pictures and stuff? I'm sorry, I'm crinkling this paper and it's like making all this noise. They're individually wrapped. So let me open one up so you can see what they look like. They're so pretty. They're simple, but this is what they look like. So, yeah. The dinner napkin is going to go in here. And then I'm going to keep... um, I'm going to keep some and give Nancy... Let me see. Nancy's table sits... Six. And I think mine does too. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, Nancy can keep six. So I'm going to give her six and I'm going to keep six. Let's open this other box. So I had to get... So I had to get a tablecloth. And the tablecloth had to be square 57 by 57. And that's all that this is. It's a really nice tablecloth. So I'm going to stick the candles in here as well as the... Um, napkin ring holders and the last thing i got like i said i'm still waiting for the dinner napkins this is so pretty so it's a masquerade we have to wear masks and everything is all in white so i got a mask let me try it on for size is it oh yeah it has a ribbon this is my mask Isn't she pretty? It is so cute. I'm glad it fits. I was worried that it was going to be small, but it's not. And I ordered a purse from Shein, and it's supposed to be here this week as well. This is so pretty. This was like, I think this was $8.99. But that's my mask, and yeah. Let me see something. Ties. I just want to make sure I have space. The ribbon. I have enough ribbon. I want. I just want to make sure I have enough ribbon to tie this. Yeah, I do. Okay, and I can leave it as loose or as tight as possible, which of course is going to be loose. Oh shoot! I wear glasses. Damn. I'm gonna put these with my glasses on. <laughs> Let me see something. Aww. Let me see. It's not gonna look great with the glasses. I might have to. Hmm. I mean, I have, an, I have enough space, but it's not going to... Mm, I have to work something out, guys. Oh, good God in heaven. I forgot about my glasses. I could wear my clear ones. But yeah, that's all I got. And damn, I forgot I wear glasses. I have no contact lenses. I go for my appointment in November sometime. I think the first week of November. But... 
that's all I got from Amazon. I'm going to end the vlog now. I hope you guys enjoy this weekly vlog. Please, if you're new here and you stay to the end, think about subscribing to my channel, liking and commenting on this video. Please give this video a thumbs up. I hope to see you guys again in the next vlog. Until then, have a safe, blessed upcoming week. Adios.